Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1 Fathead Candy Roth. We are looking at a beautiful week. Going to be 75 and sunny. Uh, light wind today and very summer-like. So we'll take it. I am looking forward to the week. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I mean, you're going to be out and about with Tilly. You're going to get out there, dog park. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Now, is your barbecue, uh, maybe you barbecue a little bit uh, on the deck? What do you I'm think? I'm not that big on barbecuing. I, I don't care. For the game last night, though, we did have uh, snow crab and shrimp, and it was very good. I was a little off my uh, my diet this weekend, I, uh, but I'm still intermittent fasting, but today i got to get back on the straight and narrow. Oh, I did have some shrimp myself with some crab meat on Saturday, by the way. Oh, oh I forgot to mention earlier in the show, uh, Dana and I got our flu shots on Saturday. How exciting. What a nice romantic thing to do. Yes, we went out for a nice uh, romantic uh, double date. The uh, the flu shots, us and the flu shots, that's right. Uh, it was wonderful. Um, and we held off on the... Uh, The kids, because Abigail is sick, so she couldn't get it. And Leah has a full week, like four days of tennis. And I'm like, and it's the final week, like the county tournament and like three regular matches and all these things. I'm like, we cannot give her the flu shot uh, this week, just in case she has a reaction to it. So Yes, yes. and, And the fact that his sisters weren't getting it, Elijah was held off until his sisters. Yeah, he's like, listen here. Okay, I'll see you all later. Yeah, so uh, once Abby gets better, maybe uh, the end of next week, early uh, early next week, or uh, the end of this week, we'll uh, we'll get in there. But uh, yeah, got the uh, got the old flu shot. We are ready to go. Uh, Candy, a woman named Emma McGinnis in 2019 was on a 30th birthday trip with her family to Disney World. She was at uh, the a slide called Humunga Kawabunga. Humunga in, Kawabunga. That's what it's called in Disney's Typhoon Lagoon Water Park. This particular slide is a 214-foot slide with a five-story drop, and they usually make you cross your legs to avoid... What happened to this woman, Emma McGinnis? Oh, oh, oh. Um, The lawsuit claims Disney didn't make it clear just how important this was. So near the end of the slide, Emma briefly got airborne and hit the pool at the bottom so hard it gave her, try not to laugh because this is serious, it gave her a life-altering wedgie. Life-altering wedgie. That damaged organs... Oh so goodness. much so, she needed to go have surgery afterwards. Wow. And she has finally uh, filed the lawsuit. I don't know what took so long or what happened. COVID or I don't know exactly why it's four years later. Wow. Um, she's seeking uh, coverage for mental and physical anguish, hospital bills, loss of earnings. Um, She claims Disney should have been more upfront with her and other people about the risks of this slide. Um, I don't think she's going after enough money. This is Disney. She's only seeking $50,000. Wow. I don't don't know about that, but have you ever uh, uh, been on a ride or seen anyone uh, get so injured? Never. First of all, I do very... I don't even know the last time I got on a ride, but... That being said, no, I've never seen anyone get injured with a wedgie. I'm yeah. sorry to say. Yes, yeah, so Emma McGinnis is uh, is suing Disney. All right, here's the uh, the one we need to debate on a little bit. Um, the UK is now banning phones in classrooms to I think help. That's brilliant, right? To help kids focus. Okay. Um, a new poll. I did see a couple of schools. I forget where I read one. You can't have your phone in in class, which I think 
why have we waited so long for that? Right. Now, now some interesting things. All right. So a new poll found 97% of kids in the U.S. use their phone at school. We know that. Um, the U.K. has now banned phones in classrooms. Now, here is the issue some parents are having with it, and this is where the debate comes from. On the surface, I agree. Put the phones down, learn something. Unless you're using it as an educational tool, like an encyclopedia, you got to look something up or whatever. That I, But otherwise, the phones have to go away. But here's the thing. Some of the schools are actually having kids hand their phones in at the beginning of the day, and they don't get it back till the end of the day. So they aren't even allowed to use it in between classes, which to me, you know, I have to communicate with my kids quite a bit. Hey, I'm picking you up. Hey, you got to take the bus. Hey, you need to do, you know, there's certain things. I, I'm going to disagree with you. I don't, listen, I went through school. I didn't have a phone. They didn't have cell phones then. We all lived. We were fine. My father picked me up, whatever. If he needed to get me, he went to the office. If I wasn't expecting him, like uh, it was done in the old days, okay? I think these phones should, I think there's far too much time spent on these phones, and they don't need them in school. I don't need to see kids walking down the hallway, you know, on Instagram or TikTok or whatever they're doing. No, I think so. They, no. I'm not. I, I I'm not disagreeing. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not. I. You, no one is more. In, in, like even when I'm talking. Like I was talking to uh, Leah on the couch the other day, and she was looking at her phone, and I refused to finish what I was saying till she put her phone down. I said, "Put your phone down. Look at me in the eye." Right. Um, I. I'm with you. We. Me and you are on the same page here. My only issue is. In between classes, the two or three minutes you have, or maybe when you're at lunch, I don't think you should have to hand your phone in and then not get it back. You know, there's an emergency aspect to this. God forbid something happens. Kid needs to get in touch with you. Um, That is part of this. So I, I don't think they should completely lose them. I do think they should get in serious trouble if they're used in the classroom, though. Okay, we agree to disagree. All right, but you could see my side of that, can't you? I see what you're saying. I don't think it's a big problem. Um, we all lived without it for many, many years. It's possible. I think there's too much screen time. Well, you, you also have to remember, the last time you had a kid in high school was, what, 13 years ago or so? Give or take? Or so, yes, yes, yes. Right, give or take. It's a long time ago. It is uh, a long time ago. I'm just going to tell you how I feel about it. I have a granddaughter, and I don't want her face in that phone. I can't wait to see what happens with that, with Maeve and phones and all these things when she really starts growing up here. Mm, it's oh, going to yeah. be interesting. Interesting to see. Uh, but, yeah, so the U.K. has now officially done it and uh, and banned phones, and we'll see, you know. I don't know if that uh, that'll fly in the U.S. or not. I do. I do agree, though. There needs to be a little more control, but we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. Candy, we are less than twenty minutes to your bald and the beautiful entertainment. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Got your national days. Got your good news stories. The week of weather has us very excited here. Very. Yeah, going to be gorgeous, 75, sunshine, very summer-like. Let's hit the roads, my country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on my country, 96.1.